And this time we have dy dx equals x over y. So once again, we go back to our chart. And on the AP exam, of course, you won't be given this chart, but I'm simply drawing this to show you that organization is important. And on the exam, you should draw a little chart for yourself instead of uh, just plugging in numbers because it's very, very easy to get lost. So let's be very organized here. y equals negative 2, y equals negative 1, <clears throat> 0. And same for the x values. So now we go ahead and try one. So at, let's say y equals x equals 1, y equals 2. Well, at 1, 2, dy dx will equal well, 1 over 2, just a half. So at 1, 2, we get a half. And doing the same thing, of course, for each single cell. Uh, and we will notice patterns to help us fill the values in. But here, at y equals 0, if you notice, that it's undefined. So let's just go and put a question mark there for probably an asymptote, okay, or a straight vertical line. Uh, so at x equals negative 2, y equals negative 2, we get 1, we get 2. Here we get negative 2 and negative 1. So we see a symmetry from positive y to negative y. So x equals negative 1, we get 1 half, 1. So we probably know this is going to be negative 1, negative 1 half. And then we get when x is 0, all values are 0. And when x is 1, we get negative 1 half, negative 1, 1, 1 half. And x equals 2, we get negative 1, negative 2, 2, 1. All right, so time to plot our slope field graph. There are 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Okay, so at x equals negative 2, y becomes 1, 2, undefined, negative 2, negative 1. So going from negative 2 up, <clears throat> we have 1, 2, undefined, which we'll just mark vertical. 1 is negative 2, and finally negative 1. And then we see this negative 1 going straight through the middle here. So y equals 1, x equals negative 1. y equals 1, x equals negative 1. So here's this negative 1. And the next negative 1 is going to happen at x equals 1, y equals negative 1. So 1, negative 1. So we see this line going right here. And what about this side? Well, this side, if we check in the chart, we'll have the line as well. So 1, 1, 1, 1. So 1, 1, mark this vertical, 1, 1. Once again, just a non-brute force way of plugging in values for the slope field. And if we go to y equals negative 1, y equals negative 1, we see that the only thing left is a reflection. So probably negative 2. And we'll just go ahead and fill in all the values here. And well, we don't know what these are, so let's go ahead and look. y equals 2, uh, when x equals negative 2 is negative 1. So when x equals negative 2, when x equals negative 1, and y is negative 1, we get 1. But when x, when y is negative 2, we get negative a half. So then this is positive half, my mistake, and this is negative a half. So then we have this, these half terms. And all along the y, the x equals 0, uh, we have zero slope, so and along the y equals zero, we get just undefined. So 
So each slope field is going to look, has the potential to look dramatically different, but as long as we follow the simple setup, plug-in values, and just simply fill in the chart, uh, we will be totally fine. Uh, so that was a quick look at slope fields. Thanks for watching educator.com. We will see you in the next lesson.